What's up everybody? Today we got the newest yo-yo from Yo-Yo Friends. This is the Tachyon. It's a bimetal yo-yo that can play lightning fast. Let's check it out. Alright boys and girls, so this might just be my favorite birthday present ever. Um, unboxing this right now on my actual birthday. Video will probably be coming out the day after. But this is going to be super sick because it is a very fast playing Buy a metal yo-yo from Yo-Yo Friends, and it's in one of my favorite colors. Always been a big fan of like teal, turquoise type colors. Now this looks absolutely <laughs> stunning. The laser engraving is just super intricate and uh, really, you know, really nice looking. I always have been a big fan of laser engravings. I'm not the biggest fan of yo-yos when they're just blank with no laser engravings or nothing. Uh, looks. Absolutely awesome. We'll put the specs right there. The ones I know off the top of my head, though, is it's just over 60 grams, so it's a really light yo-yo. And uh, it's a bimetal with stainless steel rims, and these ones are anodized black, which makes it look just so nice. Um, and then it's a 7068 aluminum, so um, not the most common type of aluminum you see on yo-yos. So I'm really excited to just see what it has to offer. Always been a huge fan of uh, fan of all the Yo-Yo Friends yo-yos. Uh, here is the Peregrine, which is... Um, as of now, it's probably my favorite they ever made. Uh, here's a brass ring peregrine. It's just like a peregrine, but slightly different, and it looks really cool. Um, the classic hummingbird. You know, so kind of similar, a little bigger in diameter and stuff, but uh, kind of on the same page. They're all, you know, not too far off. The shortcut is a little smaller. This is their budget mono metal. Um, but there's a just next to some of their other yo-yos. Along with that, you will get a string, some replacement pads, and a couple stickers. You know, so in a really nice box, so. Um, yeah, so this is supposed to be a super fast-playing competition le uh, level yo-yo. I know it's like right around $100, $105 or something like that. Um, uh, yeah, and bada-bing, bada-boom. So, comes with spare pads, center track bearing, all that good stuff. And this bearing out of the box... Like, it's really, really nice. I don't know if you guys can hear that or see it, but this thing hauls. All right, so really excited to try this out. Um, yo, yo, friends, I've never been disappointed, so let's put this back together. Whoop, throw a string on it and really have some fun. All right, guys, we are back with the tack in, and this is supposed to be a very fast playing yo, -yo uh, especially with the lightweight. So let's uh, try to play a little faster than I normally do. Ooh, bind speed will be really nice. It is really stable for how light it is. It's weird, like it feels light, but at the same time it doesn't. like. Quite forgiving, I whacked my hand pretty good there. Still spinning really well. Yeah, really long spinning, especially um, for how reckless I'm, I'm being with these tricks. I'm not being crazy smooth right now. I'm just kind of whipping them around. I'm trying to push the envelope of this thing a little bit. Very nice at regens, can change directions like crazy easy. Binds feel really nice too. Don't think it's gonna snag on over-unders here. Nope, not at all. But still um, really nice and tight binds. Yeah, finger spins really well, even with all those uh, laser etchings on there. I love though this color, this blue and black. This is just freaking awesome. I really dig in this color. Yeah, and this is Without a doubt. This is with a, without a doubt, yeah, probably my favorite yo-yo all year. Um, at least in recent memory. I've had a lot of good yo-yos coming lately. But this just like, 
I don't know. It makes me think like it's definitely the best one. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I was expecting much shorter spin times to be honest, um, just because you know it's so light and so nimble. But I, I mean, at the same time, it's got you know really nice weight distribution and it's a really like tried and true shape. If you notice. All the Yo-Yo Friends Yo-Yos, they're all kind of similar shape, except for like the Vulture and stuff, but, well, they got a, eh, and the Koi. Yeah, no, they got kind of all different shapes, but they have a lot that are kind of like this same type of shape-ish, and you're just a little changes. And because it works, um, and obviously um, all the, their teammates, you know, our team members are all playing competitions, killing it um, with these shapes. Yeah, and the finish on here is really nice. I'm glad I got the black anodized rims. I think that, like, I was expecting those to be more sticky for grinds, um, but they're really not. The inside is bead blasted, um, but even on the outside, like, it's still, still really nice. Somehow I made a fake knot there. I'm blaming it on that DNA I did earlier. But yeah, I really, really dig this. Yeah, see, like, I'm getting, like, really good vines when I want to. Like, really freaking tight vines. But once again, like, when I was doing over-under boings, stuff like that. And this is fresh out of the box. Like, I didn't play with this before I got on here. I just put a string on and uh, turned on the camera. And that was really it. But, yeah, huge, huge fan of this. Huge fan of Yo-Yo Friends always in general. So I knew I was going to like it. Um... But uh, yeah, I think it uh, even exceeded my expectations. So a huge, huge fan of this. Get this while you can. I see this being one that will sell out quick. Um, I believe it just came out. Uh, happy birthday to me. Thank you, your friends, for sending me the best birthday present I've got in a couple of years. So thank you guys for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.